What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Blaze, and we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hope you guys are having a very good day today. So today, we are going to come, sorry, we are going to talk about the upcoming EZA event, the raid event, uh, coming on the 15th of August, which of course is the Extreme Z Battle Dokkan All-Star event. Now, uh, again, this is going to be a must-do event, but because there's just so many stages going to be 999 stages uh to this event here uh, i do recommend most players in the game of dokkan to actually get this done by worldwide celebration because if you actually try and get this done in one single go uh this is going to be here roughly for what the homie truth said here it's going to be around 10 hours i think you can get it done within eight but i mean eight to ten hours in one single day is quite a lot here so unless you're someone that loves to do world tournament then you can definitely blitz this in one day but uh, I would highly recommend you actually get this done here. So, as far as the breakdown for this Extreme Z Battle Raid event, uh, this is going to contain 19 categories in total. Now, every category has a different number of stages. For example, we have here the DB Saga. It's going to be here from stage 1 to 108, I believe. Yeah, 1 to 108. And then when we go here to the uh, World Tournament, which is the second category weakness, um, it's going to be here from stage 109 all the way to stage 130. So again, it is going to be very random um, in terms of the stages because every stage is going to be different. Pure stage, as you can see here, it's going to be here from 131 all the way to 172. Uh, and then if we take here at the Planet Dynamic Saga category, um, it's going to be here 173 all the way to basically 242. So again, every single category has a different number of stages to actually you know, beat the event here. Now, word on the street right here, um, I've actually seen it on Twitter and I've seen a comment here as well. Uh, on this page here, but you actually don't really need uh, to actually use the specific category when being in this event. And the reason why is because when you take a look here at, like for example, the first stage, there is zero damage reduction. And this is pretty good because, again, in the game of Dokkan for new players, um, you're not going to have access to DB Saga characters. You might have access to some free to play ones, but as far as the leaders, you really don't really have any access to it. Now, you do, however, uh, you do have, actually have your, of course, your the uh, Int Kid Goku on the Rats banner, but again, it's not really worth your stones here. So uh, you can actually beat the first couple stages of, of, of course, the EZA event uh, with like the LR Gods or the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, the 7th anniversary card units here. Uh, just because, again, the damage reduction that these characters actually have um, is actually not a lot um, compared to the damage that they're going to do to these characters right here. Um, I think like this person said right here in the comment section below, I did see some pictures on Twitter as well, but when you get the stage around 600 or even I'd say 500, that's basically where you're going to want to use the specific category units, and the reason why is because you can see here now the damage reduction, the further that we go, um, they actually have your 30% damage reduction going all the way to 35 um, as you keep going here, and then uh, when you get to the last phase right here, you, have, you actually have your 45% damage reduction, so... Uh, this is where you must bring, of course, the, the category weakness, just because um, if you don't, you're going to spend like 10,000 years trying to beat this event here. So, um, again, I would say probably when you get to stage 500 is when you want to start using the category units. But other than that, um, you know, you can definitely rock here if you're new playing game of Dokkan, like a full LR Goku and Vegeta team for the 70th anniversary, and you'll be completely fine. Um... Now, this is going to contain here 19 categories in total. As far as the total rewards, as we can see here, uh, this is one of the reasons why this is a must-do event. As far as the Dragonstones, we are getting here 277 Dragonstones. We're also getting here apparently 27 Elder Kai's of each type, so that's quite a lot. And then you also get your 3 Elder Kai's as um, to use on any other character. Uh, you also get your Tons of Zen, you get here 27, of course, of the uh, Hercule statues. And then you get here 3 of the Premium one. Uh, and then as far as the orbs, this is where, again, if you're just a brand new spec game player in the game of Dokkan, um, this is going to help out your box tremendously because they give you enough orbs to actually rainbow at least 6 units here, or even 7 units. Um, as far as the small orbs, you are getting here 38,450 of each type. For the medium ones, you're getting here 24,870 of each type for the medium orbs. And then for the large orbs, um, you are getting here 2,145 of each typing. So, again, really good, especially if you're a new player and you're trying to rainbow a character. Because I know you don't have enough orbs to actually rainbow a character when you're a brand new player. Uh, this will definitely you know, help out your, your units here in, in your box. So, um, that's going to be one of the reasons why you actually want to get this done here. 
You also get your, of course, your some training items, which is not really important because, again, the first half, this is exactly what you want here. Um, they have in your Dokkan box, right? So, uh, again, this is going to be really beneficial for all types of players, even if you're like a whale or a, do or a dolphin, like I am. Um, I'm usually very low on the SCR orb, so I know this right here is, is definitely going to be helping out my box here. Um, so as far as the stones, we are getting here 277 dragon stones again. And this is also one of the reasons why I feel like you should actually get this done by Worldwide Celebration. Because if you actually get this done within one or two days, uh, this might entice you to actually summon on the banners that are currently on Global. It might entice you to summon on the Raditz banner. In this case, you want to get your Kid Gohan, or you want to get Raditz, or even Nappa. Or it might even entice you to summon, of course, here on the legendary, legendary summon banners, uh, which shouldn't be up, but I mean, if they are, no, it might entice you to actually try and get another copy of Cal Kid Goku, or your first copy of Vegeta. Um, again, it all depends what you have in your box here, but again, I would highly recommend you actually get this done by Worldwide Celebration, so you have less risk of actually spending your stones. Because someone like me, I know if I have all these Dragon Stones, I am for sure going to be popping singles here, right, to try and get very lucky, so um, there's really no rush to actually get this done here, by the way, there's no time limit, so as long as you get it done, um, you know, you're pretty much getting a lot of rewards here. Um, now, as, that's as far as, you know, the majority of the Dragon Stones, as you guys know as well is that we are also getting here, of course, here, the Eze for Turles that I already talked about, uh, and that's going to give you an extra 30 Dragon Stones, so if we actually take a look here at the upcoming cards, uh, we actually have here the Turles, right? So this is going to give you an extra 30 Dragon Stones. Um, let me actually go do this here. And we'll open this just like this. So again, Turles is going to give you, of course, here uh, 30 Dragon Stones plus the mission. So probably going to be here uh, 34 Dragon Stones. So already we're at basically 311 Dragon Stones. Um, so far, just from these two easy A's. And this is a very good preparation for, of course, a Worldwide Celebration. Um, as I talked about for the Turles, the weakness is going to be here, Low Class Warrior. And then of course, here we also have these easy events as well. Not too sure how many stones we're going to get from this, but I mean, I think you might get 20 Dragon Stones from Vegeta. So that's going to push you over basically 331, and then probably an extra 20 Dragon Stones, I would say, may maybe give or take, um, for the easy for the Gotenks, and also for the Tarbo. Um, these guys are kind of okay. I'm not really that kind of, you know, I'm not really blown away by these characters, but they are going to be needed in order to actually do the Vegeta event, I believe. Um, let's take a look here at the campaign for Vegeta. Uh, you are going to need here Tarbo. Yeah, you're going to need here, of course, here, um, um, what's his name here? Abba, Krillin, Goku, Yajra Goku, and Super Saiyan 3 Goku in order to, be, in order to do the event, so... Uh, again, we are getting the easy for Prime Battle Vegeta. I guess we can maybe take a quick look here at Prime Battle Vegeta because I'm actually not too sure what he does. Um, let's take a quick look here, upcoming cards. And of course, he's not here. Okay, well, we, you know what? We might, maybe we'll skip this here. Um, but we are going to get here an easy A. So, again, in total, we're for sure getting over 300 plus Dragon Stones. But um, as far as the Extreme Z battle. Um, for the all-star event you want to make sure that you get actually get it done for worldwide celebration so um we're definitely going to go ahead and stream it here as well there we go we're definitely going to go ahead and stream this here as well now fortunately the 15th is going to be on monday which is going to be a work day for me so it's most likely after work i'm going to stream this right here uh, i might do like half of it uh, of the easy i'm not too sure but um you know i probably would take me probably three or two days to actually get this fully done um for this easy event because again it is going to be here 999 stages which is quite a lot here so uh that's gonna be a quick video for today my boys let me know what you guys think um are you guys hyped for the celebration are you guys gonna finish it in one single day or let me know how long you think it's gonna take you to actually beat this event here all right but so far we are getting here over 300 dragon stones all right so with that i'll say thank you for watching if you guys enjoyed make sure to hit the like button sub for more videos coming down below and hopefully i'll see you guys on the next one peace